In this tutorial, I'm going to go over Einstein competition number two. So let's get it started. This is the round one. Problem one has to do with distance and displacement. All right, so the distance is very easy. The distance is D is equal to five uh, meter plus four meter plus five meter. Since the direction, uh, we don't care about the direction when we talk about distance, we just add them up. So 14 meters. However, displacement is, uh, of course, uh, is something else. Um, the displacement is df minus di. What is df? Uh, this is the displacement vector. So the df must be uh, 4. di must be 0. So 4 minus 0 must be 4 meters. To what? North. Okay. All right, so that's the problem number one. The problem number two, uh, let's find the distance and displacement. The distance again, the distance is um, the vector A plus vector B. What is the size of vector A? Four kilometers. What is the size of vector B? Negative, uh, let's see, negative six kilometers. All right, so four kilometers plus six kilometer, that is the 10 kilometer, that's the distance. That's the distance, right? However, the displacement is, displacement is uh, four kilometer minus six kilometer. So the displacement is negative two kilometer. Our displacement is two kilometer to the west. Okay, and this is the displacement vector. And the size of this one is two kilometers. Okay. Next, um, all right, well, you want to find the displacement here, but we have to uh, understand that this is a DT graph, all right? Although, I mean, you know, it's very uh, convincing, I don't know why it is convincing to use the Pythagorean theorem because it is one of the Pythagorean trifold. But don't get fooled by this because don't get fooled by three, four, five things because uh, you know, in order to use the Pythagorean theorem, both SI unit has to be the same. But the SI unit of x axis, y axis are not the same. This is in fact, this is S, this is M. You cannot write 3 second square, right, uh, plus, I don't know, uh, 4 uh, meter square. No, you cannot do that. So the displacement you have to use, D, displacement you have to use, EF minus DI. What is the df? Four. What is the di? Zero. So four uh, meters, right? So the displacement is four meters here. Okay. In this case, you can use Pythagorean theorem. Why is that? Because you can write three meters squared plus you can write four meters squared. So you have nine meters squared plus 16 meters squared. So you have 25 meters squared. So you have a square root of 25 and a square root of meter squared. So five meters. Okay, definitely you can do that. This is also you can use Pythagorean theorem because this is measured in meter per second. This is measured in meter per second. So you can definitely do that. Six squared plus uh, four. Okay, so. 7.2 meter per second, meter square, second square. So 7.2 meter per second, definitely. Okay, number six. Uh, <coughs> a bus slows down with an average acceleration. So acceleration is negative 1.8 meter per second square. How long, we gonna find the time. Uh, how long does it take for the bus to slow from nine meter per second to complete rest? So BI is nine meter per second and VF is complete rest. Okay, so let's find, um, let's do this one. BF is equal to VA plus AT. Okay, uh, so that's how we can find the time. BF is zero, VI is nine, uh, minus 1.8 T. So nine divided by 1.8, 
and 9 divided by 2 is 4.5 so this must be uh, 5 second then okay good number 7 uh, number 7 uh, the car reaches a speed of 42 meter per second so velocity initial is 42 meter per second uh, then begins uniform negative acceleration so acceleration we're going to find out using um, is brake or parachute whatever it is um, and it comes to rest um, vf is zero at 5.5 second right let's find the acceleration acceleration is vf minus vi and t vf is of course zero zero minus 42 over uh, t is 5.5 negative 7.6 meter per second squared. So we can do it two way. D is equal to VAT plus half AT squared. And VF squared is equal to VA squared plus 2AB. Both gonna solve the problem. This is zero squared, this is 42 squared, uh, minus uh, this is uh, 7.6 um, times 2D. So D is equal to uh, 42 squared. And you can do the same way, VI is 42, 5.5 uh, plus half, uh, negative 7.6, and 5.231 minus 115, so D is equal to 116 meters. So you can solve both ways. Now let's do problem number eight. Okay, a plane is starting at rest, so initial velocity is zero, of course. Uh, one end of the runway undergoes uniform acceleration. Acceleration is 4.8 meter per second square, of course, uh, before it takes up. How long the driveway must be? Uh, okay, so we are talking about the driveway. How long the driveway be? All right, so this is uh, one of the easy problem. Uh, let's uh, find. So VF is equal to VI plus AT, right? So VF is, that's what we're trying to find, zero uh, plus 4.8 and, 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 and the time is, uh, it, it, it gives you the time, right? Uh, 15 seconds, All right. time is 15 seconds. Okay, so 15, all right, meter per second. Now, VF squared is equal to VI squared plus 280 will do the job. Will give you the how long the runway must be. So 72 squared is equal to 0 squared plus 2 acceleration is 4.8. So 72 squared, 9.6 uh, meter. And that's how long the runway has to be. So number 9, 10, 11, 12, I'm going to uh, skip 9 to 13 is because we're going to solve it in a few seconds. All right, let's do number 14. Okay, a person pushing a stroller uh, is just from the rest, initial velocity is zero, uh, uniformly accelerate, acceleration is uh, 0 0.5 meter per second square, right? Uh, what is the velocity of the stroller after, so D is equal to 4.75, I use VF squared is equal to VI squared plus 280, why is that? Uh, because that's what we are trying to find, um, what is the velocity, find out. So VI squared is zero plus two times A is 0 0.5 and D is 4.75, so in two meter per second. All right, number 15. Since this is displacement versus time graph, right? This component is VX and this component is VY, right? Okay, uh, don't forget that this, this is not DX and DY. This is VX and VY, what is that? because uh, the slope, okay, uh, every single point is a slope. The slope of displacement versus time is velocity, and every single point you can divide them in uh, x component of the velocity and y component of the velocity. x component is always constant. The y component is the one that uh, keeps changing. So yeah, once again, uh, the, the y comp, uh, the, the x component would be zero if, if you throw it in 90 degree, but you did not throw it in 90 degree. Okay, good. Um, that's
So uh, the last problem, uh, when the velocity and acceleration are the same direction, then it's speeding up. When the velocity and acceleration are same direction, then it's speeding up. Is the velocity acceleration same direction? Yes. Is the velocity acceleration same direction? No. Is the velocity acceleration same direction? Yes. Is the velocity acceleration same direction? No. So one and three, and they are, of course, is speeding up. Now we're going to solve the round two problem. So this problem I gave you to round two, what happened, here's the problem. So this guy, Mr. Berry, throw a ball, right, from two meters above the ground. Okay, so this is the ground. Uh, so this is two meters above the ground. So this is negative two meters, okay. And Okay, it's go up and it changes the direction and come to three and finally is hits the ground, okay? So this is location two, okay? That's the scenario. Now, let's see how long the ball was in the air. So D is equal to B80 plus half AT squared. So this is negative two is equal to, he throw the ball with six meter per second, initial velocity. So six T minus five T squared, we are using G is equal to negative 10 meter per second squared. So 5t squared minus 6t minus 2 is equal to 0. You're going to use the quadratic equations. d squared minus 4ac over 2a. Uh, 6 plus minus uh, 76 over 10. So this is going to give you 1.5 second. So this is 1.5 second, the entire trip. If entire trip is 1.5 second, this is 0. Then what is uh, how long it takes at right here? So bf is equal to bi plus at so vf is zero because the velocity at right here is zero vi is six minus 10 t so the time over here is 0 0.6 then time over here must be 1.2 because it's symmetric initial velocity doesn't change and velocity right here is six velocity right here is zero velocity right here is negative six equal in magnitude opposite in direction Velocity right here is, we can find it out. Vf is equal to Vi6 minus 10 and time is 1.5. So negative 9. Distance now over here is 0. Of course, we are using like this. So this is our x, this is our y. So we can use 0, 0. Uh, location 2, the distance Vf squared is equal to Vi squared plus 280. So Vf squared is 0, Vi squared is 6 squared minus 20d, 36 divided by 20, this is 1.8. So this is 1.8, then this is uh, uh, 3.6, and then this is 3.6 plus 2, 5.6, okay, because this is 1.8 plus this is negative 1.8 plus this is negative 2. I'm taking absolute value and that is 5.6. Displacement, all right. This time I'm not going to take absolute value. 1.8 minus 1.8 cancel. So the displacement is negative 2. It's 0, 1.8. Displacement is 0. Okay, speed. The speed over here, 6 is 0. What is the speed over here? 6. Uh, the speed over here is 9. Negative 10, negative 10, negative 10, negative 10. Okay, very good. So distance at 1.5 second, the distance is, of course, 5.6. All right. So the object is slowing down and is speeding up. Um, at zero second, the speed is, of course, uh, 6 meters per second. At 1.5 second, the speed is 9. Okay, at zero second, is, uh, at, at point 0.6 second, uh, the speed is uh, zero. So you're going to have to shade the area under the car. Okay, the displacement versus time graph. At zero second, displacement is zero. 
at uh, one point at 0.6 second, the displacement is 1.8. At 1.5 second, the displacement is negative 2. So, so, so you have to make a parabola like this and like that. At 0 second, the velocity is 6. At 0.6 second, the velocity is 0. At 1.5 second, the velocity is negative 9. Okay. Um, so that was your Einstein competition two, and this is also a good review for exam three on Wednesday and exam four.